What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. We're back today and we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head single barrel Buffalo Trace tasting. Now I've got a little Buffalo Trace problem. You can see I am a huge Buffalo Trace store pick fan. I've got what seven or eight of them. Um, these are just the, the different bottles, di different store pick bottles. So this is really my daily drinker. So this is kind of what I seek out, what I look for. Um, if there's ever a Buffalo Trace pick, I always pick it up. So some of the best $30 whiskey, you should always have it in your bar, um, especially the single barrels if you can. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that. So let's do a quick background on Buffalo Trace. Now Buffalo Trace is one of the biggest distilleries um, for whiskey in, in the world. Um, they make super high-end products, things like Pappy, the Pappy Van Winkle line, all the way down to like Benchmark 8. Um, of course, the, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, that's things like the, the George T. Stagg, Eagle Rare 17, Sazerac Rye, uh, Thomas H. Handy, um, just super high-end, super sought-after whiskeys. And this is really their foundation product, what the distillery is actually named after, or this is named after the distillery, I guess, if you will. So what I did is I picked up a brand new single barrel um, of this Buffalo Trace from one of my local stores here in Grand Rapids. And I wanted to do a comparison between this pick they just got and the one they put out last year to see which one I like better. So same store, um, possibly even the same people picking the barrels, but I wanted to, um, to do that. So this pick is actually from a Cedar Rock Party Store, and this is a, a store right here around the Grand Rapids area. Um, now, they have sister stores, so they are sister stores with Riverside Liquors and Alpine Liquor, and um, they all kind of you know share the picks, do the picks together, things like that. So. The, for, the pick I have, um, the other pick I have poured here, it's it's labeled Riverside Liquors, but again, same thing with the other two stores as well. So I wanted to do a head-to-head -head comparison and give a, um, a quick side-by-side -side and see my thoughts. So I've already got the Riverside uh, poured. Now the Cedar Rock one, I'm going to sit it here and let it open up while I try the, uh, the Riverside. So this is Buffalo Trace's, um, you know, mash bill one, so the lower rye mash bill. They don't disclose mash bills, but in general, it's not it's not going to be a, a higher rye, you know, typically. So this is a 90 proof bourbon, so a great proof point. Comes in right around $30. This was like 63 bucks out the door for two different ones. So um, looking at color, I mean, it's a light to medium color. Not sticking to the glass too much, but um, a nice honey color in the glass. Mm. Um, this bottle has opened up nicely too, I'll, I'll say. Now, I am doing a, a neck pour comparison, so we'll give it a little bit to open the glass, but... Classic Buffalo Trace profile. So you've probably heard me say this to death now, but it's just the cherry cola nose. Um, nice sweet oak. I mean, Buffalo Trace is generally a eight-year-old bourbon, so that's how old these, these barrels are on average when they, they blend them in their normal small batch. These are single single barrels, so it may vary a little bit because it's obviously just one barrel being picked. Very nice nose. I mean, no alcohol burn. Very smells very smooth. Very cherry, sweet wood, brown sugar. It smells nice. Let's give it a sip here, guys. Cheers. It's just so solid, so easy to drink. Um, I, I say this should be in everyone's bar because you can have it for yourself anytime. I mean, anytime. And if you have a friend over, I think these are some of the best introductory bourbons you can you can give someone um, to just try to get them transitioning to the whiskey world. Buffalo Trace holds up very well in a cocktail uh, because of the nice cherry sweetness I get on it. And also, I mean, on the rocks, I mean, it's high enough proof. It's not just proof down to like 40%. So it gives you a little extra being that 90 proof. So I think um, it's just such a solid pour. Such a solid pour. Let me give this one more sip. I didn't really give any tasty notes there, so. Baking spices on the palate. More on the palate came through than what was on the nose for the baking spices, but clove. A um, little bit of cinnamon in this actually too. Um, very nice, very nice pour. Let's go into the other one and see if there's much variation or if it seems to be um, about the same. 
Ooh. Wow. On the nose, it does not even smell like a Buffalo Trace pro uh, product. Mm -mm. That, um, that cherry sweetness is gone now on this. If I was guessing, I would say this might even be a little bit higher rye mash bill, um, which it shouldn't be. Um, I actually recently found this out that some Buffalo Trace picks are actually mash bill too. So higher rye mash bill picks, if they don't seem to quite meet um, the profile they're looking for to move on up to be an older product or or one of the, the mash bill twos like Blanton's or Elmer, Elmer T. Lee, there are some times where they'll open up those barrels to be picked as Buffalo Trace Private Selects. So every once in a while you can find a, a, a higher rye Buffalo Trace Select and I don't know if that's the case with this or not. but. It's still quite sweet, um, it really is, but but the nose is completely different than than with the first one. As this op is opening up, a little bit more of that cherry notes coming through. But I would say it is more, I mean, a lot more peppery than um, than the first than than la the last year's pick, and that just could be again the air in the bottle just oxidizing it a little bit. Let's give this a sip. Cheers. Yeah, um, honestly, like more again, more of those rye notes come forward to me on this. A little bit of, um, ooh, it's, it's actually leaving a really nice tingle on the back of the palate, though. Yeah, the 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 the, the finish on that, um, it surprised me. Like I'm not I'm not really getting a Kentucky hug, but the back of the palate is um, really leaving a nice tingling on the back of my tongue. Like it's making my tongue salivate, really wanting wanting more of this. Initially, when I, I drank it in, I, I thought it was going to finish very dry, um, like, like sometimes rye or higher rye mash bills can do to me where it just dries me out, but it didn't happen. It, it really surprised me there. I thought it was going to, but it, it didn't. Mm. You know, honestly, this is drinking more like an Eagle Rear to me than a Buffalo Trace. Um, Eagle Rear always has to me more of a more of the sweet oak and um, less of that cherry no I mean the cherry note will still come up in Eagle Rear it's kind of the Buffalo Trace profile but it's mellowed and that's exactly how this is I'm not getting that cherry like I will in a lot of Buffalo Trace picks it still smells sweet like a nice candied sweetness nice citrus citrusy notes too Sit, and the citrus notes kind of remind me of the E.H. Taylor line a little bit. Um, so E.H. Taylor small batch always has a very nice bright citrus pear, peach, apple on the nose, um, and the palate. And this is leaning more towards that. So interesting. I said it, it drinks more like Eagle Rare, but on the nose it's kind of more like a, an E.H. Taylor. Either way, it's drinking above its pay grade. We'll say that. <laughs> it's drinking above its pay grade. And honestly, as this bottle opens up, I think it's gonna get even better. The fruitiness, um, the E.H. Taylor fruitiness is is coming through on the palate. I mean, when it hits the front of the palate, that's what it reminds me of, E.H. Taylor Small Batch, where it's got the bright citrus notes, um, not as much that dark cherry that I expect with Buffalo Trace, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, again, the tingling on the back of the palate and the mouthfeel on the back of the palate is shocking for being a um, 90 proofer. I mean, 90 proof. It's it's chill filtered. So like, I, I'm really surprised it's leaving that that nice of a mouth feel and um, that nice of a finish. So, we go back to the first one again. Mhm. Mm That's good too, though. They're both good. They they did well on both picks. I, I think I think this the, the new bottle here from Cedar Rock. Um, I think it does drink more like an Eagle Rare. Um, just the, the the typical Eagle Rare Rare profile I get with a little bit more age. It rounds off those edges that sometimes Buffalo Trace can have. 
and, and that's very nice. Um, very nice, and even being a neck pour, it's already showing through like that, I think that's great. If you're more of a fan of the brighter citrus versus just the, the super dark cherry you'll find a lot in the Buffalo Trace, I think you're going to be a fan of this pick. And that's what's great, but I've always said Buffalo Trace picks are, to me, more something that doesn't differentiate as much as, say, like a Russell's pick. Um, I find a huge variation in Russell's picks, not as much with Buffalo Trace, but doing a side-by-side -side like this, even just comparing two barrels, you can see the differences. You really can. If you haven't seen my live stream I did, I did five Buffalo Trace picks all side-by-side. -side. I'll link that up here for you guys. That was really fun because doing that was, was really cool. They all did taste different, and I, I thought there wasn't much variation, and comparatively, I don't think there, there, there still isn't, but... Doing those side by side was really eye opening and you can really see which of these stores know their picks. And actually I think the Riverside pick won that as well. Awesome to do. If you can set this up for your friends, set up a tasting, get some store picks of even the same thing. That's what amazed me is the same, the same whiskey, just where it's aged, you know, different uh, levels, things like that. Set this up for them. See if they have a favorite that comes out. If one seems to be better than another, because this is, this is what stores go through when they go to pick barrels. They either get barrels brought to them and they try them all, they decide what they want, or they get samples mailed, mailed to them with like three samples. They try three barrels, whichever's the best, that's the one they go with. You can find out which barrel you guys would pick if you were doing a, a tasting of all these. So thank you guys so much for watching this review today. Um, if you like these types of videos, just head to heads of even the same whiskey. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. I've got to give a quick shout out to my newest patrons. Thank you so much for joining the Bourbon Sane family. Stellar Matrix and Dave Critterman, I appreciate you so much for joining and, and supporting me. Really don't know how much it means to me. Um, if you'd like to consider supporting on Patreon, please do. Uh, Patreon.com slash Bourbon Sane. There's a lot of cool perks you can only find if you are a patron. So, I also do have a couple challenge coins left if you're interested. Go ahead and shoot me an email, bourbonsane at gmail.com. I think I'm down below 20 now, so we are running out. But I appreciate you guys um, hanging out, watching this, this review today. Stay insane, everyone.